Hey there, so in this pro tip video, I'm gonna show you quickly how to make a, a kind of nice 16th note shaker percussion loop using a combination of cypher and animator. I really like synth percussion and um, in particular on things like um, like shaker loops and so on, I find it to be very useful to be able to kind of do stuff like this. So I'm gonna use uh, two oscillators, um, oscillators one and two. Oscillator one is just gonna be white noise only. Oscillator two is going to have a bit of FM on it uh, coming from oscillator three, which I'm going to drop down in pitch below oscillator one. Um, I'm gonna switch the filter over to uh, high pass and I'm going to make the envelope very short here. And right away we should have something that sounds a little bit like um, a kind of uh, a synth drum uh, hi-hat. Excellent. So as I bring a little bit of attack in, it sounds a little bit more like a shaker, which is what I'm after here. So under animator, um, I'm looking at engine one here. I'm actually looking at the mod value here, which I'm going to quickly zero because I'm going to make use of the mod value in a sec. Um, but right now it's just a, a simple 16th note sequence that's being sent to Cypher from animator engine one. So when I switch it to advanced and press play, we should hear uh, the start of our shaker pattern. Cool. So um, definitely sounds like we're in the right ballpark, um, but I need to kind of humanize it a little bit and add a little bit of, uh, of kind of what you'd expect from um, a nice kind of swung uh, shaker. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of, uh, of swing to it here. So looking for a nice little sweet spot. So let's hear it with that. So we've already got a nice kind of gallopy feel there. Um, I'm also going to, as I said, make use of the mod sequencer. So I'm gonna dial up uh, step sequencer one's unipolar value here, and I'm going to shorten up the decay time and then add um, step sequencer one's mod value to the decay time. So now when I change the values over here, we're gonna be directly changing the decay of the amp envelope. So. And obviously you can add slide to this as well. That's sounding pretty nice as is. Um, I'm also gonna use uh, engine two, which I'm gonna do a, a quick three-step sequence on. And I'm gonna zero the first two mod values and bring the, the third mod value up all the way. Um, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna add that to a delay, which is just gonna add a little bit of a kind of, a little bit of an extra rhythmic factor here. Um, it's gonna be applied to the wet dry on the delay. So when there's a, a zero value here and here, uh, the delay is not actually going to be present, um, but uh, as soon as we hit this value here, it's going to bring the wet-dry knob up, and we're going to hear this uh, eighth note with that amount of feedback, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So. so that immediately adds a little bit of an extra rhythmic factor. Um, I'm also going to go back to engine one here, and under shift duration repeat, I'm going to just play around with the a couple little repeats here. Uh, repeats are really fun to use uh, in Animator. They basically cram as many repetitions into that single note as you desire. So. Um, obviously you can add other things as well, um, reverbs, etc., which you can control by, via the same, uh, the same parameters. So I'll use step sequencer one there on that reverb and I'll, I'll introduce an LFO just to get a nice kind of, uh, pumpy effect here. I'll add an LFO to the level out and make sure it's synced up there. So that's LFO one now controlling the master level, um, and then I've got uh, step sequencer one, which, if you remember, is controlling the decay time on the uh, 
on the amp envelope, actually also controlling the wet dry on this reverb here. I'll shorten that up a bit. So that's uh, how you can really quickly make a, a kind of interesting synth percussion pattern uh, using a combination of Cypher and Animator within Fuser. So definitely uh, check out uh, some more of these pro types videos on my channel. Hope you dig it and happy music making.